Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. I look like crap, but that's because I haven't gotten ready yet. Today's video, I don't know if it's even gonna work, but I saw like James Charles and other YouTubers do my dog picks my makeup. So I am really hoping that I can get Indy, my cat, to pick my makeup for me just by like putting up some makeup and like putting treats out and praying that he like will walk up to it and pick one like dogs do. But cats can be a lot more difficult and a lot more sassy. So I have no idea if he's gonna actually do this, but I thought I would try, you know, if it doesn't work out, <laughs> I just won't post this video. <laughs> so obviously if I posted it, it worked out. But yeah, I'm a little nervous because I really want to do this video. I just don't know if Indy will do it. That's kind of what I'm saying here. <laughs> and I haven't gotten it ready at all. I basically have just washed my hair and that's about it. So I need to put my contacts in and do my makeup, but obviously I can't do my makeup until Indy picks out my, out my not my outfit, oh my goodness. I guess that, that could be one too if you put treats by clothes. Maybe I'll try that. But yeah, so I need to get Indy in here and hope he helps me pick out my makeup look today. Okay, so I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit so you guys can see, but I've laid a towel out so I could put his treats on our bed. I don't want his treats on our bed directly, but these are my two foundation options. I have the Maybelline Fit Me in 110 and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. So I'm gonna put those down like that, and I'm gonna go get his treats, and hopefully he'll do this. <laughs> Look at that you guys it worked and I have it upside down because he put a hole in the bottom of the bag. All right, Indy All right. Hey, come in. Wait Solomon. Can you come here? I Need you to hold Indy while I'm putting the treats down and then let him go and see which one he eats first He's right in here, honey So I'm gonna have Solomon help me with this because if I just put the treats down right away He'll just eat them and not like go to one first. So I'm gonna see which one he'll go to first. He's like, give me the treat, woman. Give me it. I will. I need your daddy's help. I need your daddy's help. You little sweetie. Isn't he the cutest little kitty, you guys? He's so cute. All right, daddy's going to hold you while mama puts out these treats. So you're going to hold it, and when I put it, when I put the, oh, say hello. Hello. <laughs> All right. Okay, Indy. Which one? Pick one. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're going to use this foundation. Ah! I thought it would. This cat loves his treats. Okay. He's like, where'd you put the other one? All right, now we're gonna do foundations. I have the Maybelline eraser and the Tarte Shape Tape. All right, honey boo. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> he always goes to that side. All right, Tarte Shape Tape it is, baby boo. Next we have powders. This is totally working. Okay, we have the Stay Rimmel Matte, Stay Matte one, and the Fit Me. Matt one. He's getting so upset. I feel bad. Okay, Indy, which one? Go for it. Go get it. Which one? Is that treat? Which one? Why does he always go to this? Oh, Kitty, pick one. Oh, God, he sees the bag. Kitty, what's treat? That one? Like right, this one it is then. For bronzer, we're either going to use the bronzer in this palette or we're going to use this bronzer by Wet n Wild. So, all right. Pick one, Indy. Feed the beast. Oh, we're gonna use the bronzer in here. We're gonna either use this Milani Rose Blush or the blush in my Pure Palette. And let's see which one he picks. All right, Indy, go. Go. Feed the beast. Oh, he picked Milani. Okay. The highlighter in my Pure Palette or my highlighter from Wet n Wild. All right, Indy. Pick. Which one? Which one, baby? No, no, one of these. Come on, one of those. All right, the highlighter in here it is. All right, so either my e.l.f. brow pencil or my Wet n Wild brow pencil. So let's see which one Indy picks. All right, Indy, go. Oh, the e.l.f. one. Okay, not not my favorite out of the two, but sounds good. Ugh. So either my Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette or my Tartise Pro Remix palette. Let's see which one he picks. Indy, which one? Modern Renaissance. Okay. Hi, sweetie. Oh, wait. My Lash Sensational by Maybelline or my Benefit Mini Roller Lash. All right, kitty. Back up. Back up. All right, kitty. Which one? Go. Which one? The, yes, that's my favorite, boo. The Lash Sensational. The red one 
by Rimmel Kate Moss. I have Cream in Your Coffee by MAC. It's like a purpley brownie color. Or I have this pink one by e.l.f. called Pink Minx. Pink Minx. You get three options, buddy. Here, go to daddy. Go to daddy. All right, last time, Kitty. Then you can be enough. done. You could get all of them. Okay, go, Kitty, go. Which one? Which one? Wait, no, no, not the bag. He thinks the bag. You guys have the bag. Which one? Pick one. Kitty. Pink. Which one? Oh, pink minx it is. Andy has to do this one more time for me because I didn't know what eyeshadow colors to use, so I wrote bold or neutral. And Andy's gonna pick if I do a bold look or a neutral you eyeshadow. Sniff look. and neutral. Well, that doesn't count. Nothing's down yet. Okay, go by daddy. 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 All right. I have damn. All right, Andy, go. Andy, go. The beast. Neutral or bold? Not the, oh. <laughs> Bold or neutral, kitty? Which one? Bold. Oh. All right, this treat's just for you being a good boy. You can have that one. Good job, kitty. Good job. You picked up my makeup. All right, kitty. Say, my name is Indy. I'm a stinker butt, but I'm really cute. Say bye-bye. Later, skaters. So you guys want to do my makeup. Hey guys, so I'm back. As you can see, I put my contacts in. I'm in the bathroom, ready to do my makeup. So I thought I'd just kind of like review with you guys what Indy picked out because it all kind of happened so fast. So the first thing I started out with is foundations. <clears throat> oh, my water, my voice is dying. I don't even know why. But my foundation that he picked is the Wet n Wild photo focus one that's the one he picked out of the two so we're gonna use that one and the concealer he picked out of the two is my mini tart shape so we're gonna use that one today I really need to get a full size of that one I just haven't gotten around to it yet but yeah and then he picked the Maybelline fit me for my powder today so we're gonna use that one and then for my bronzer, he picked the Pure Palette, which has, oh, aw, you guys, I just got on my fingers. Pure Palette, which has this one in it, so I'm going to use that bronzer today. And then for highlighter, he also picked the Pure Palette, so I'm going to use that highlighter today instead of my Wet n Wild ones. And then for um, blush, he didn't pick the bronze, he didn't pick the Pure Palette, he picked the Milani Rose one in the color Tea Rose. So we're going to use that for blush today. And then for eyebrows, instead of picking my tried and true wet and wild one, he picked the e.l.f. one, which is still good. I just like the wet and wild one better. But this is the eyebrow pencil we're going to use today. And then for my mascara, he picked my all-time favorite, my Maybelline Last Sensational. It's only like $7, I think, and it works really good. So happy he picked that one. I do like the roller lash, too, so I would have been fine with either. And then for the palette today, he picked the Modern Renaissance palette instead of my Tarte one. And I didn't know what like colors to use, so I wrote down bold or natural like eyeshadow and Indie Pink bold. So we're gonna do a bold look today. Probably gonna have to use that pink. That's the boldest color in here. So yeah, we're gonna do that. But be thank goodness he picked pink lipstick then <laughs> because like a bold lip and a bold eye just would have been kind of crazy, but he picked this pink one by e.l.f. called Pink Minx, and it's just a nice neutral pink color. So I think I'm just gonna do my makeup, speed it on through, and then when my makeup is done, I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm all done.
I'm done. I don't know how I feel. I feel like this like, this eyeshadow look is kind of terrible, but I have never in my life done like a really bold pink eyeshadow look. I just never have before. And I kind of wish that for bold anyway, that Indy would have picked my Tarte palette because like I'll show you the difference. Like here's bold colors for Anastasia. Like other than that really bright pink one, there's really not that many options. Whereas this Tarte Tease one has so many bold colors. I could have done a blue, I could have done a green, I could have done a purple. Like there would have been just more options. But I did what I could and I basically just took that really bold pink color, the shade Love Letter, all over my eye, and then I used the color Buon Fresco, Buon Fresco, I think they say it, that like purple shade for my inner, like my crease color, and then I took the color Viet, Venetin, Venetin, is that how you say it? Venetin Red, and I put it under my eye and I used it to blend. And then I took a little bit of Vermeer and put it in my like corner to give it just a little bit lighter. And this is what it looks like. I feel like it all kind of looks like the same color. Like it doesn't look like I used, what was it, four or three different colors. It doesn't look like I used any other color, but I did. So I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm not good at doing bold eyeshadow looks. I just feel like the eyeshadow ate the best. And I actually normally like to put my Fenty lip gloss over this lipstick. I think it just gives it a little something. So that's what I would normally do, but I didn't give Indy that option. <laughs> but so this is the this is the makeup look that my cat picked out for me. And it was actually super fun. I don't know if I love this look, but it was super fun. So I am still glad I did it. Um, you guys can comment down below if you like this look, how you would have made the Mata Renaissance more bold. I just feel like there's not that many bold colors in here. Oh well, it was still fun. Now I'm gonna see if Solomon will come in here and tell me how my makeup looks. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what he's gonna say. I don't really wear, like other than clothing wise, I don't wear that much pink. I don't know, I normally, or like my lipstick. I'm just not that big into pink. I like the greens, the blues, the reds, a lot more. But yeah, so I'm gonna see if Solomon will be really kind and come in here just for a little bit. Yeah, okay, this is what it is. Beautiful. I always do. Literally the only bold color in this palette is this one. It's nice. <laughs> so I did that. Does it look like I used five to four different colors on my eyeshadow though? No. Yeah, it looks like Oh shoot. Yeah, I use this color. Yeah. And then I use that in my crease and then I use that all over and then I use that in the inner corner. But it kind of just all blended together. I'm not good at bold eyeshadow looks. <laughs> it looks nice. Do you think it's too much pink? I think the pink is fine. Okay, so what would you rate this look? Eight. An eight, really? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, can you bring Indy in here? <laughs> Indy can rate, no, I can't rate it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, guys, so I have Indy, but not for long, because he doesn't like to sit for very long. But Indy, this is the makeup look you picked out. Do I look good? Does Mama look pretty? Yeah, thank you for helping me today, baby. Say bye-bye, say bye-bye. All right, I'll let you down now. What a little cutie. You wanna go outside, go hang with your daddy? Mm -hmm. All right, so now that I let Indy out, I just wanted to kind of add him back into the video, just at the end here, because this makeup look is revolved around Indy. But yeah, um, he's a boy cat, but he picked a very feminine makeup look today. A lot of pink, but that's okay. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, hit the subscribe button, make sure you know you hit the bell so you get notified because I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And if you want to keep up with me, make sure to check out my Instagram. It's at SophieJMBurger, also linked down below, so go check that out. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and to have an amazing day. Bye! on my mind always on my mind always on my